action. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Manhattan's Voice, NYIT's hot, hot, hottest podcast, literally with the fan on in the room, because we are literally boiling alive in the hottest room, probably in the floor. If you hear it during the recording, we apologize. Sorry, but I mean, we're not going to do it without the fan. Sorry. We, we have to. It's just in our contract at this point now. Yeah. Uh, I am your co-host, David Gustavo Contreras, joined by the lovely and always... Nicole Miranda. And Julian West. The dynamic trio. Hey. Or no, the terrific trio. I thought you were going to say duo, and I was like, which one is I was going to say duo, that's <laughs> why I'm like, wait, not duo. <laughs> which one isn't in? All right. Um, how were your, your weeks, guys? You go first. How were your weeks, guys? All right. Um, <laughs> my week was very busy. I finished the Foley interview. Yay! Ta-da! Make sure to check that out on YouTube. Um, It was very tedious to edit, and the school computers kind of failed me because I wanted to do more with it. But at a certain point, I had to just get it out because we had waited long enough. You, you You had all waited long enough. I had three different people ask me for it that week so i was like it's got to be this week leave so, julian alone all right no i get it i get it no i, I wanted julian to alone. i wanted to get it out as soon as possible hey, and Foley asked me like, about it i was point. trying to balance that between well, like you, you got it out and, as fast as possible yeah. um so if you haven't seen that please go watch it or yes. listen to it uh you'll CR. also you should see it on globesville soon uh we are like partnering with yeah. them to like get that footage out to other people uh so look out for that um be on the lookout what else is going on this past? Oh, I got a I got another roll of film developed. Oh. Um, huge thank you once again to uh, Caroline for Caroline. going out with me in, back in August, way back in August, and um, August. Holy shooting moly. an entire roll of film with That's me. That's what you developed? The one from August? Yeah. Wow. I just, like, hey. hadn't found the time to go downtown and, like, get to film developed. Rome wasn't built in a day. Finally found the time. Uh, they came out fantastic. I'm I'll sure. I'll show one or two here on screen if you're watching um will you post them on your instagram then eventually at some point at some point um, are you back on instagram or no i'm like debating it i feel like i want to just like wait until the mm. end of the year like huh. i what was that? i don't really feel she like picked a hair I off of her mic i'm like whoa i don't know i'm i'm still on the fence about Instagram. I've been I've like, been thinking about deleting it just because I don't know it's so. I just I need to, I need some post time. On it every day. I post on my story, but I haven't had a post in since like September. I need well, some I'm time post and like for Sarah's birthday. whenever I do start using it again, I want to make sure I'm using it for reasons that are important to me and not other people. I mean, you're right. Um, I'll start taking pictures of you and me together, and we'll I'll tag you. Don't worry. Yeah. Put a heart oh, we'll it. do like a, a weekly post to just me and David on both hey. of our pages. Um, so today we went I to the got store. <laughs> we wore our flannels today. <laughs> I didn't get the Oh yeah, memo. if you're not yes. watching, David and I are matching today. He's rocking the uh the Flan- flannel the, fam, flannel fam, hashtag rocking, flannel fam. He's rocking the copyrighted uh Why don't you just eat the mic now? Julian uh <laughs> fall, the copyrighted uh Julian fall look. The, um the Julian the West Winter collection. He's got he's, he's, he's even got flannel? the uh uh, I'll count it. I'll count okay, it. Okay, it's a It's a plaid design. It's I'll a plaid design. He's even, he's even got the uh, white undershirt. First of all, literally like wool. Awful choice in this boiler in this room, room. That is our that yeah. is our radio room. Bad bad idea. Yeah, Goodness yeah. gracious. Um, that is why I'm rolling my sleeves up. Wiping but, the uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but Ooh, yeah, my week was okay, okay. my week was pretty busy. Let me roll my sleeves up too. But I managed I managed to get the joke there was that Nicole was wearing short sleeves already. Um, <laughs> for all you uh, for all you listeners out there, um, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, my my week was busy, but I I got some personal things done, so that was cool. I um, want to see those those photos by the way. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Bring them in tomorrow. I'll show you guys. I think I, I have them on my laptop, so Ooh, I'll show you guys cool. after. No. Cool, cool, cool. All right, who's Nicole? next? Nicole. Who's next? Since you want to be so uh, contrarian, please. Ooh. Pugnacious. Ooh, SAT words, baby. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Um, Follow that up. So anyways, um, <laughs> my week was pretty good. I spent it uh, with friends, family, and more friends. Um, the same three friends I have. Uh, and the only three friends she oh, yeah, has. Shout out to Sarah. Happy birthday to Sarah. Yeah, happy birthday, Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. Sarah. Uh, happy birthday. Let's see, listen. She better right. Listen. She better Moving listen. on. She better listen. So to the we podcast. take back the happy Moving birthday. Moving on. <laughs> um, yeah. So today's her birthday. She's twenty years old. Whoop, whoop. Oh, nice. Happy, happy two decades. Teen years are behind her now. Mm, yeah. So I uh, hung out with some friends, did some family shenanigans, and then did some work, all that stuff, the usual, actual work, school work, crying. That sounds like, like a sonar. <laughs> <laughs> that was me adjusting the mic stand. It was like boop. Okay. Oh, um, Sorry. But um, overall, it went pretty good. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. What went really good? <laughs> just, just like, I don't know. Out with life, family. Just life's yeah, been pretty just life good. in general. Like, it isn't just, like, something, like, specifically happened that I'm like, oh, How's the amazing. fam? Um, they're good. They're kind of, like, so we, the whole family got together on Sunday because it was, like, the uh, anniversary of, like, my um, great-grandma who passed away, like, years ago. Yes. Love you. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Um, so we usually do like a tradition when it's her anniversary. We all the, nice. the Saturday before the sun that like a Sunday we like they all make bread that they like learned how to make. Oh, it's like her from, recipe. Yeah, like Aww. her recipe. That's adorable. But it's like, but my dad was telling me he was just like, this bread does not taste the same as like how she would make it's cause it. It's because she's not there. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that happened. And then on Sunday, we all went to church. It was, like, so many heads. Um, maybe I'll insert a picture. <laughs> Shout out to church. Squad rolling up to church. I don't church. really go to, go to church. But, like, you know, it was so funny because my, my like, my dad, my stepmom, my three brothers, uh, my sister and I, like, were, like, all one part of, like, a huge part of the family whatever. But we're always late because just, I don't know. I literally went to confirmation and I haven't been to church since. I think it's the same for me. I haven't been back since. <laughs> I mean, it is what it the is. The wine wasn't very good. That's why I didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> My dad at one point literally took all of our phones away. Ooh, ay, cuidado. <laughs> <laughs> he literally took all of our phones away because uh, we took uh, our f- one phone away from our baby cousin. And then she, <laughs> she got up- upset. So then he was just like, everyone's getting their phone taken away. So he literally took everyone's Sounds phone. all too familiar. To Playing Brick for Breaker on my, on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, okay, nah, okay. Um, Did he take your phone? Yeah, he took all of our phones. Uh-huh. I was literally sitting next to all of my siblings, and all of us, like, at one point, my dad looks at us and was like, give me your phones. I'm like, what? He's like, give me your phone. I was like, oh, here. Uh, but it was fun. It was nice. <laughs> um, I'm, like, not, re- I don't really see, like, my family, like, on a weekly because You're I don't in live with them. Yeah. yeah, and, like, they're in Jersey, too, but, like, not in the same part that I am, and, and um, that's just how it is. So, and then also, like, I guess... I look different since I've seen You it. look different. Who are you? Yeah. Um, Where's my daughter? What have you done with my daughter? I guess I'm not as round. Uh, that's a good thing. There we go. Um, Shout out, how, how, much, how much weight have you lost? Uh, Do you have a number? Uh, you look great. Thank you. Uh, Here's now looking at you, kid. Sound Here's looking at you, kid. Not that you round in my me. face. There was this picture that I saw of me um, like, in a, not a, like in the summer on Aaron's birthday back in August. And I'm like... When's your birthday? Ooh, that's August second. Twenty oh. second. So yeah, I was just like Ooh. Leo. So uh, you uh, saw your family and found out that you were less round. Yes. Good. Found out. That's good. Yeah. You were what? Less. less round. Oh, less round. <laughs> <laughs> so How was your week? Um, it's well, I didn't go to church, but I went to the church of NFL and I won <laughs> in fantasy this week. The church Yay. of the pigskin. literally by two points I won this week, but the Jets lost to the 0 and seven Dolphins this week. The 0 and seven Do- the Miami Dolphins. At least the Giants lost to a good team. Yeah, that was yeah. to the Cowboys, so I mean, that's America's <laughs> team right there. That's tough that's tough to beat. I mean maybe I don't right. I don't like all this uh prep like all this positive talk towards the Cowboys. I don't, hey, I don't How about them Cowboys? I don't, I don't appreciate <laughs> how that. about them Cowboys? <laughs> You're really loud. And what did you say? That probably peaked a little bit. It did a little bit. But I'll sorry, listeners. In, I'll fix that in post. Fix I guess. it in post. Sorry, Julie. Um, just cut that. Cut it out. Yeah, I might cut it out. Cut it um, out. But yeah, you won. I in won in fantasy. fantasy. Just got demolished. Uh, I literally worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm tired. <laughs> gotta, make that, gotta make that money somehow. Yeah, yeah plus, I'll, I'll, on top of that, I had work that I pretty much, I got home from work and I was too tired to do any of my homework, so I had to pretty much load up on homework from like, Last night, I went to bed late, and now I woke up early to do it this morning. It was quite the pain, but the work is done. Oh, my God. We didn't ask you to drink him for the advising for Whoa. tomorrow's. I present my project tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. You do? I'm doing the Dos Equis guy. You, Duncan, <laughs> is honestly the best teacher I've ever had in my entire life. She's a wonderful she's professor. A list- she's a, a devoted listener. And so. she is a Manhattan Voice listener. We love you, Kim. Shout out to you, John Kim. You. Please give me an A. <laughs> She's my mother. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, work. I mean, Jets lost, but it was a pretty good week. No, I can't complain. All right. Yeah. I mean, not bad, right. not bad. Can't complain. Um, I didn't go to church, so mm. there's that. I was about to say same, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll run through the events for this week now. Oh, yeah. Ta-da. Like the um, usual time. Last week, I kind of let you guys do it, so this week, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, throw, my, I'll throw my hat in the, in the game there. To start, um, 
we do want to remind everyone about their registration dates. Uh, it's different depending on your year, yes. I believe. But um, I think the window is from priority registration, I believe, is November 4th to yes. November 20th, something like that. Um, you should have gotten an email with your priority date, like when your uh, registration opens. So um, definitely meet with your advisors, um, plan out your schedules, yeah. have that, all of that um, imported in your like enrollment window. And then the day of your uh, registration, just click enroll and you'll be all set. So yeah, I'll have my meeting with Sherwin eventually. Yeah, I got to talk with Luba t Thursday and then Sherwin Friday. You're, why are you talking about Yeah, we're doing both of them. Um, Luba is just going to help me with my schedule and then Sherwin, I'll talk to him about like the specifics of everything. Um, oh my God, I just, I, just I wasn't yawning at no, you. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It's fine. What a rude <laughs> son of a gun. Um, Listen, we should know I'm by listening, now that I'm I listening just, to you yawn. That's what I'm listening to. We should to. just know by now that I yawn for literally anything and everything. That's, that's, um, the, that's the quality you want in a host of a podcast. But yeah, I, I talked to, uh, I talked to, kidding. I think Sorry. for the past... I think last semester I talked to both of them as well. So why not? The more advice, the better. So yes, yes look, look out for your registration dates. Make sure to get that done on time so yeah. you don't miss out on the classes that advisors. you want. Yes, that is Believe true. Believe me, they fill up quicker than you think. Yes. <laughs> don't do. wait last minute. Literally. I made, that, I made that mistake last time and I, I missed out on a couple of cool classes that you guys are both in. I missed out on editing, editing and script writing. Mm. Script writing is good. Thanks for rubbing in my face, Nicole. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, so let's get into uh, weekly events on the NYIT calendar. Monday, November 11th, we have. Go. Oh, you want me to? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no, because you <laughs> said it up. Yeah, I no, was just. It's fine. We have the Veterans Day info session on 16th month on the 11th floor, 1 to 3 p.m. Learn about undergraduate programs, the admissions and financial aid process, and participate in a question and answer session with our student ambassadors. Then take a tour of the New York City campus, our lovely, beautiful New York City campus. Yeah, so I think. Um, this is, I think it's essentially a, a student info session geared specifically towards, towards veterans. veterans yeah. um, Thank you for your service. And we do have a very like strong veteran population we on do. Our campus. So um, if you're a veteran interested in NYT Manhattan, please attend Monday, November 11th. Welcome. We're love, glad to have you. Please attend and tour our wonderful campus. Um, Maybe even say uh, hi to us if you see us. If uh, you see us, yes. Why not? All right. No pictures, though. No pictures, please. <laughs> Yeah, no purchase. Unless we're talking uh, uh, some, yeah. five some conversation. Of, no, five I'm bucks kidding. a pop. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Five cents. Um, we have, what do we have next, Nicole? We have FAFSA filling. Of, oh, wait, FAFSA filing. FAFSA. 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 <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> FAFSA. FAFSA. Faf, no, it's FAFSA. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. All right. So she I, did it. I've been saying it wrong my entire life. No, I think a lot of people say FAFSA. Because FAFSA. FAFSA. <laughs> you added like two more Fs. It's a bar, it's a bar FAFSA. <laughs> well, anyway. FAFSA filing event uh, in 16 West, room 924 at 315 to 430 p.m. Not a.m. It's p.m., guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we host events 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, come to our New York City campus to receive hands-on help completing the 2020-2021 FAFSA free application for federal oh, student Oh, that's what it says for free application for federal student yeah, aid. That's, that's what it says for. Did it say that? I didn't know that. Um, there are two future sessions, uh, November 20th, uh, 5.30 to 7.30, no, 7 p.m., and November 21st, 5.30 to 7 p.m. You can RSVP. With the um, link below, right here, below. or in below. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> Down there! Um, I think you can RSVP, uh, you can RSVP for this one as well, um, I think there are RSVP links for each. I'll try to put those down below if I can find them. RSPCT. Um, so that's it for Monday, November 11th. Uh, Tuesday, November 12th, we have the second day of NYT Ventures Growth Conference. Shout out to Shubang. Bang, bang, bang. Um, it looked like we're recording this on Tuesday the 5th. It looked like their session today went great. After day yes, one, yes. Um, which we will get into. They uh, had, yeah, we can get into it. Yeah, right we can now. talk about that. Um, Stay tuned. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But... Um, yeah, it looked like they had a great turnout, and hopefully next week goes just as well. Yeah. Um, it's, again, going to be in the AOB, 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Uh, their speakers for next Tuesday are Chad Lewis, 
uh, on disruptive innovation, Mary Lou Smolders on capital capital raising, and Dr. Tracy Timberlake on business leadership. That sounds like a soap um, opera character dr tracy, Tim- dr. <laughs> dr. tracy timberlake but um if you're interested oh, in those no. topics then definitely attend um yeah. the the the, cr- the conference is being run like super professionally yeah, and yeah. like we've only spoken highly of shubang yeah. and you know he runs a great event they're working their butts off he's going so. to be on the podcast in a few weeks yes after he will be back on all the conferences are yes. done so, so we can, uh, we can do talk an actual to him discuss there. the aftermath yeah, yeah. So we don't have to do a review today. We could just uh, wait off until... Yeah, we can hold off until then. But, but just um, know it was really good. We'll keep yeah. you guys wanting it. And uh, so look forward to that on uh, Tuesday, November 12th, their second day of the growth conference. And then we have one more And event. Fo- after that, later that day, we have the New York City Bingo Night on s- in 16 West on the 11th floor, 6 to 8 p.m. Monthly student bingo night. Prizes available for the winners. I guess they're should, doing this monthly. I, I think this is that. new. But it sounds kind of interesting. I wonder what like, you can win. If I can make it, I kind of want to go. Like, bingo is like, kind of fun. We're, so. we're here. On Tuesday. I mean, our recording times might cut into that. but that's we, what I'm, No, that's we, what I'm saying. Like, we're, we're here. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, see we'll try to make it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. If you see guys show up to bingo and we show up, yeah. say hi. You already know it's a good time. <laughs> when we Bingo's walk into the, the bingo hall. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Stop. G11. <laughs> okay, honestly, when I thought of bingo, I thought of, like, straight-up old people, but then I was just like, wait, this is a college. There's not going to be old people there. <laughs> I mean, there might be. Some, Some of reti- our professors are alumni. Older. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, know. that'll wrap it up for the uh, NYIT calendar. Yeah, I mean, th- um, we don't get... Uh, club events yet from SGA, but I'm sure there are a lot of club events we'll going posted, on as yeah. well. Keep so posted. look around for posters on campus. Um, and if you're on email list for clubs, definitely look out for those. Uh, we do want to start compiling those in the future, but it's just communication with SGA, but we'll figure that out. Um, so you yeah, guys? that is just for our fan base. Those are our events for the week. Um, Make sure gonna, to check them out. We're going to get into our delve into our main topics now. Um, in, in there, uh, no what? stress Tuesday next week. There is not? There is. Oh, my gosh. Um, we can't forget No wow. Stress Tuesday. So that's Why the first not? topic that we have for you today. Next week's topic is going to be time management. Oh, so I'm upset I missed that. this week's sleeping she, one. She talked about... Um, you were there how, this how, week? Yeah. <gasps> she she talk, told me. She talked about, I, I, didn't, I, I thought, thought you, you weren't going. I, thought you're, no, 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 I went to the library. I thought I'd go. She's just jealous we don't invite her to anything. She doesn't have the connection that we have. No connection. Nah, I'm um, just kidding. Just kidding. No, it's okay. Ah, whoa! <laughs> um, oh, now I have to. I feel like a douche. I just, I thought you, I just assumed you were busy because I, I was in the library. I was in the library. I was that's my fault. Was that's, no, no, that's my fault. What can um, you do? Yeah, but fun. yeah, this week's topic was uh, just like trying to optimize sleep and I how know, that can I improve to go to that one. other areas of your life. And um, next week is going to be uh, time management. So definitely that will be interesting to hear. Uh, oh, definitely, oh. if you guys are interested in trying meditation if you've been doing it for a while just show up it's sick it's a great time yeah honestly run um, by a professional if i don't have anything next tuesday i'm out there oh never mind I, try I, I probably won't it. go then <laughs> on second thought um nicole you're welcome to join we'd love to have you um if you have the time you're welcome to join um i'll cry but that is that should be it for can't, our can't club forget events no this week. yeah no no no, no. um and uh, shout out to Nicole Menendez. Uh, she is a student ambassador, I believe, and she yes. she helps a lot with yes. uh, on campus events. She helps run No Stress Tuesdays. So it's thank so you very funny, much. Because when I see her, I'm like, hey, Nicole. She's, She's like, like, hey, Nicole. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're both named. Yeah, yeah, Nicole. yeah, yeah. I got it. I don't, I got know, it. I don't know another David. You know any Julians? I know another David. There is another Julian on campus. Who's another David? I think he's. Uh, he goes to Long Island now. Oh. There's. What? You're talking about the other Julian? Yeah. White Julian? He was uh, why Julian. <laughs> he, he was he was an architecture student. Oh wait, never mind. I'm talking to Julian that dorms with us. Oh, that was friends with like that yeah, whole thing. Yeah, he was group. only here for like a year though. Yeah, yeah, last year. There's there's another Julian. Uh, he's an architecture student. I think he's still here. All right, never mind. I'm, um, I don't know. Any and Davids. I know another David, I but we Davids. call him Zion because his middle name is Zion. That's pretty badass, actually. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Mine's Gustavo. <laughs> Nobody call me that. Gus. <laughs> so people call Everyone me always David. says, like, oh, can I call you Gus? Like, no. Ew. No, you cannot. David's um, fine. <laughs> that's not my name. <laughs> anyway. Let's okay. get into our main topics for this oh, week. Uh, We're starting here off we go. with the fact that uh, El, Presidente El Presidente, our wonderful 
wonderful leader. If um, you didn't see the air quotes. Yeah, the um, heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy air, air quotes. quotes. Um, has uh, departed. He's no longer a New York City he's resident. Departed. Uh, <laughs> Rest in peace, Doug. Um, R.I.P. He is now a Floridian. Um, Giving us a bad name. Good riddance. Yeah. I go to I like, am so glad go to that like he does not Kansas live Kansas or like Alabama or something. <laughs> I gotta ruin Florida. Go out west somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> go to like the mountains of Utah or something, man. He's gonna become gonna a ruin yeti. my nice sunshine state. <laughs> He's, you know what? He's avoiding the property taxes. That's all it is. Yeah, and right. I think it's raised it, it income, up and got the F is out it of income here. taxes too. Probably. I think it might be. Um, but yeah, he's just being cheap. You know, I've always found it funny that like New Yorkers always flee to Florida, and then Florida's also well, the move rich back ones. To New York. The rich ones do. Yeah, it's hilarious. Because they're trying to protect their wealth. Like, I know a couple people I went to high school with who were from Listen, Florida. Elizabeth Warren, one percent, one percenters. If you're listening, Elizabeth Warren is coming for you. <laughs> For all our one percenters out there, <laughs> um, yeah. If you're rich, watch out for Sanders and, and Warren. Stay out of Florida, and stay out of Florida. Stay out of Florida. Right. No, um, no. But yeah, uh, by Trump, you will not be missed in New York City. Um, you will not be. Missed. Have fun with all the alligators and Florida men doing insane right, things. Right. <laughs> like it's just gators walking around like. <laughs> all right, well, they're, then... they're walking around in like suits and ties. Yeah. Um, Evening. <laughs> How was your day? Fine weather we're having. Um, but yeah, we he will he will not be missed in New York City. That's the end of that. To be fair, I never saw him. He, um, never, he never hit me up when he was in New York City for some reason. <laughs> man, why don't you let me know? Don, what are you doing, man? You never hit me up anymore. Oh, would you actually meet up with him though? Like honestly, uh, that'd be weird if I had a text like, "Hey, it's me, Donald Trump. Want to chill, with, like, bro?" Emojis yeah. In it. <laughs> um, I'm in town. Let's hook up, bro. But uh, yeah, he's gone. Good riddance. We will not be. Mi- we will not miss him. Uh, and to all we, my Floridians should, out there, I'm so sorry. He should. Uh, he should get rid of all his buildings here. Like we. We should like get the one rid across of those. the street. The one near here, uh, Trump Tower down by um, Rockefeller Center. Let's get rid of those. Let's. He can. He's got other buildings. He's fine. They're it's nice. Okay. It's okay. Um, uh, up next. Anyway, <laughs> on that note, to the next president. Um, we wanted to talk about like. Some of our expectations for the presidential the presidential forum, which will have passed by the time this episode comes out, which is when because it's the day before this episode releases. Uh, today is Tuesday the fifth. Well, Thursday. The so presidential forum Thursday. is Thursday the seventh, and we're releasing this episode on Friday the eighth. It's like we're time so, travelers, guys. Again. Um, yeah, we wanted to talk about like things that we hope people bring up. Yeah. Things that questions that we hope get asked. Um, if only, I hope if some, only like, Andre, you will be there. I hope right? just like people decide to like raise their hand in general because like that's that is a hard thing to I, do. I, you know? People kind of get chicken up there. I am. But I, I'm gonna be like, hello. I am. Uh, I'm hopeful that just say hello. I'm hopeful that a lot of people are gonna be vocal this year, um, or this semester because they happen every semester. But um, specifically uh, for me, um, are you going? I yes, okay, I will be yeah, there. You better be going. Uh, I want to ask. When is it on Thursday? Uh, I think it's to oh. yeah something like that. Um, oh, it's during it's during free hour. It's during free hour. Hopefully mean? we'll all be there. Taking me out to dinner. Yeah, uh, we're going Thanks to going to the Lower East Side. You know, I'm gonna find a really nice quiet restaurant. He's gonna wine and dine me. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Oh, dine and dash. I'm just kidding. Dine and dash. <laughs> don't do dine not, and dash. We do not support dine and dash. Do no, not dine and dash. Don't do that. That's really scummy. That is mean. Um, I've never done. But I for me my like number one question. I, and no one take his question. I mean, if someone else asked it before me, that's totally fine. But I, I, I want to. You want your question I'm answered. Looking, I'm looking to actually get up and ask this. Oh, I want I, the truth. If I have the opportunity. But, um, Don't lie to us. I want to know, do they have a plan for those students who intend to stick with the university and make that transition to Long Island City or Lower Manhattan, wherever we're going? Um, for, do they have a plan for those students making that transition if – they end up needing financial assistance more than what they have, or like if prices change, will their financial aid change with that? Because, like, if that changes and people end up losing their opportunity to go to NYIT just because we're changing location, then that, like that's totally unfair. Um, so I really, I really hope that they're planning for that, and I'm would I'm Long Island City to, be farther from you or closer to you? No, it'd be closer to me. You're still um, going to dorm, right? I would be dorming, but I mean, as of right now, with their like projected timeline, I I 
get my degree before the move happens. Woo! We're out of here, baby. Um, I only would need one semester. Only one semester. That's not bad. I want to um, graduate. Be I think we all want to graduate. Can yeah. I, I, don't, I mean, I was thinking I about it, but I don't know. I graduate one semester behind you guys. Can oh, like well. we please graduate at the same time? You know, let's take a semester off and just, you know, sit yeah, around and wait for Nicole, right, Julian? Uh, people, people will be like, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're waiting for our friend we're waiting Nicole. waiting for Nicole. She's somewhere back there. We're just waiting for her. Yeah, she's supposed to be. She's getting her degree right now. Uh, yeah, she's working on she'll it. Be, she'll be here. She's she'll be here in a second. We're just, you know. Yeah, we're just. We're waiting. We're waiting. Some, 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 I've waited long enough. Some, 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 yeah, I, I I've definitely waited a bit too long. <laughs> nah, you're fine. There are she's people older than slow you. Slow and steady wins the race. There are people older than My you. My mother got her degree at like f- her late 40s. That's yeah. fine. So, you're fine. And she's crushing it. Love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. Good job, Mama Contreras. Great job. Woo. You're doing great. That's what we call her. <laughs> Good old Mama Contreras. Um, Mama. What are, what are your, some of your uh, hopeful expectations for... The Honesty, <laughs> yes, transparency. Yeah. Yeah. I hope he, um, because I was the one that told him he needed to create, a, you know, something like this for him to speak to students back at a the platform. Senate, yeah, back at the academic senate meeting with like a bunch of de, um, deans and you know uh, faculty of NYT. So hopefully he has like actual responses for students' questions instead of just saying like. Yeah, I, um, I hope that he comes prepared. Yeah, because he like he said this a lot in the academic senate meeting. Oh, like you know we can't discuss that because like you know there's certain things that we can't discuss and also he would say like oh that's like a, a in more in depth conversation that uh, we need to have and now we, we got him cornered he can't go have, anywhere we don't have the time for that and it's just like he needs to you know be there and like answer the questions instead of saying that he can't so. yeah I'm gonna go and arrive with that hat he gave me like, yeah it's me buddy <laughs> remember this I remember this <laughs> remember this hat you gave me yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you guys are going, obviously, yeah. team and has if we, if we can all together. make it, then that'd be great. Uh, if um, you're not there, well, if you go, I don't want to go. Oh, okay. If he goes, I'll go. But if you go, I won't go. I'll sit in the middle of you Just guys. Just kidding. Team Manhattan's voice is unstoppable, and we will be running will, through like a freight train. And we'll just show up like Stone Cold Steve Austin and start playing his music. <laughs> we'll just start walking. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Um, all right. To so um, all my wrestling fans out there. So, so we have high hopes of yeah, like yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to get basically like what's now yeah. to come. Like, worst you know, comes to worst, I'll Stone Cold stun him right up on stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you want to ask yeah, anything? Yeah, yeah. Any other ideas for the form that you would like to see discussed, announced, anything? Tag team wrestling. <laughs> we have a we have a new wrestling team <laughs> for this school. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully he shows up with the answers <laughs> you know, that you we know, like need. You know, the people's elbow. It'll be the Manhattan elbow. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, but I mean, Hardy Pooper Nicole. Hopefully he comes with the answers that we need. That and, was so and, loud. Uh, right here. Don't do it again. Don't, no, 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 no. You already um, did it enough. Uh, I, that thrifty pair, that comes, last one was on Hopefully he comes in prepared, and uh, we we get some really detailed information about the, the course that we're on. Because yes. um, this, is, this is very important. I mean, like, they're still admitting students to the school. And and I don't even know if they know if we're that one. Exactly. Moving. I mean... It's, yeah. it's very important. Open my, bro- my brother's was, applying here. And, uh, he found out through, like... Through you? Through the, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which brother? The 11 year old. Obviously, the one, the, my younger, my my next, my not my baby brother, my younger brother. So the one that's a year, uh, year behind me, yeah. Hmm. A year younger than me behind me. Yeah, he's a year younger than me. So he wants to come here next year? Next semester. Next semester. He's just oh, finishing, the, the he's spring fin- semester. He's finishing one more semester at, uh, in Long Island and then he's coming out here. Okay. Oh, Fingers wow. crossed. Cool. Wow, you, what, wait, what's his major? Same thing as me. Oh, we'd have two Contreras. Two Contreras. Hey. Very talented writer. Yeah. Very talented writer. Very cool. Very okay. talented. Um, so now there will be three Contreras on campus now. Oh, yeah, true. Is your mama? Too many Contreras. No, his sister's here. My mom. No, my mom doesn't go here. His sister's here. Your mom goes to other campus, right? My mom she, works no, at the other campus. No, not really. Oh, she right. works through like a doctor's office associated with the school. All right, it's mind. weird to, I don't know, it's a whole... Uh, all right. Well, wait. I've never seen your sister on campus. Uh, let's all meet. It's probably on purpose. Let's get some coffee. Um, yeah. <laughs> good like, luck. No. But next. But uh, next. Yes. What's next? Wait. So we'll yeah we'll definitely see you guys at the presidential. Yes, we yes. will be there. Um, general elections. Well, we would have seen you because it, today's 
Friday. Yeah, so it was good to see you at that thing it yesterday. It was good to see you yesterday, oh, yes. You guys are How awesome. fun was that thing yesterday, huh? That was so much fun yesterday. <laughs> um, general elections were this past Tuesday. Uh, AKA, to, AKA to, today. The day yeah. they were recording this, but they were this past yeah, Tuesday. some schools got off. We um, did it. If you are of age and not registered to vote. Shame on you. Please register. Please register to vote. Because next November. It's your civic duty. Will be very important. Amen. Um, literally, like. David Contreras, 2020. Like, almost literally for the future of this planet, it will be very important. So, Guys, please free, register. Free tuition, David Contreras, 2020. Register ahead of time. You got um, it. Do it now. Do it now, now. Don't look, all get to it. Look Do it now. Look into candidates. Know who you're, who you're rooting for. And um, just be prepared to show up on November 5th, 2020 and vote. Be there. Be there. Be there. Um, or be square. Right now. Or be. I will admit that I'm very partial towards Elizabeth Warren. Uh, I feel like she has some very strong ideas that we need. Um, and she she looks like my candidate right now. Okay. I have not uh, chosen my team yet, but we, we shall see. Um, I'm, just I'm sorry. I, I really am bad with politics. I'm a no, that's fine. Yeah, that's. Please don't do that. Don't. don't Please don't do that. (laughs) Democrat or Republican? Fifty-fifty or not? Odds I will take. Are you are you registered to vote? I am registered to vote. I voted. uh, I voted in these general elections. I voted early. In fact, I voted yesterday. Proud of you, baby. Um, Melinda Katz will likely end up as our district attorney again. Um, She's pretty popular. District attorney. Um, They're like the. the, No, I know what a district attorney. I just think it's a. Weird word. Um, oh no! I I was about to go off on a tangent about like something else. Uh, well, you know what? I'll do it anyway. Do Fun it. Fun fact. Do it. Um, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm gonna. Literally, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna I, zoom in on you again <laughs> in the Instagram edit. Like I, was, ooh, I ooh, was going like ooh. this. <laughs> I was going like this, and I was like. I couldn't hear it this time. That's good. I was going so slow. Um, but uh. Fun fact, uh, fun the, fact. the title, fun facts. the title attorney general, the plural of attorney general is attorney attorneys pause. general. general I learned that I, literally two days ago. I didn't know that until a couple weeks ago. Not going to lie, general. the air, <laughs> not going to lie, the air. <laughs> oh my God. You hate me. Like I was saying. Spit it out. <laughs> not going to lie right now, even though that the fan is on me, it's literally blowing hot air. First of all, don't even give me that because I don't even have any <laughs> fan going to me at all right now. And I am literally a sweaty <laughs> mess under this He's wearing right wool over I'm wearing here. wool, gosh. You got a short sleeve. I'm wearing on. wool. <laughs> Look at this. See this? No air. Air? <laughs> no air. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Are you getting air? Like or is her majesty only getting anything. it over here yeah. well oh, well oh, well in you literally a t-shirt move. you guys can move it no we gotta do it we gotta protect the audio quality anyway the audio quality um, a quality. <laughs> i think yes i believe nicole's having a stroke today yeah she might be guys look at my thumb i scratched oh god. it with a knife oh god this is our- i'm over here talking about Fun facts are the, are the U.S. government. She's like talking about her thumb. Attorneys general. Attorneys no, general sure. is the plural, not attorney generals, which I thought it was. But actually, John Oliver taught me that it was attorneys general. What's Thanks, the, John what's Oliver. What's the attorney general's favorite cereal brand? I don't know. Attorney General Mills. <laughs> wow. Get it? Wow. Curious, Woo! I just made that up on the spot. Stop. <laughs> um, but anyway... That's, uh, yeah, please register to vote. If you didn't vote for general elections, that's fine. No, but it's not fine. Register to vote. I mean, it's, oh, it's, right, you're supposed right. to. But I will if, come to your house and jump you, <laughs> assault you if you don't register to vote. Okay. He's just I know joking. where He's you just live. Joking. That was, don't, don't. Legal disclaimer I will not come to your house and jump you and assault you. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't Ooh. suicide. What are you, are you throwing your phone? <laughs> See what oh my was. God. This, this is chaos. Yeah, I um, won't come to her, I won't come to your house. She will go to your house and throw her, <laughs> throw her phone at you. <laughs> Um, please please register and um, vote next November. Yeah. It's very, very important. What would Washington say? Um, <laughs> stop. What? She's like, trying like, to take that windscreen off. Um, anyway, this is the big the yeah. big thing that I our wanted to talk about. Our bubbling in our cauldron. We're coming up on episode number 20, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop, whoop. And how many weeks? Uh, that would be four 20 weeks. consecutive weeks. Oh, and in four weeks. Yes, this is episode 16, so it's four weeks from now. Dang, we've done but 20 consecutive after. weeks? Almost. Oh, my goodness. Almost. 16 consecutive weeks. 
I'm tired of both. Does that count the? Oh, sorry. Does that oh count God. the? She the literally, her hair is blowing in the wind. <laughs> Does that count the what? <laughs> Why can't that happen to me? My hair doesn't blow in the wind. <laughs> Excuse me. Does that count what? Does that count? Oh, well, does the bonus episodes count? No, technically we've done more than twenty. More than twenty, but like, it would be twenty. Like, Actually, if we're getting like, technical here, <laughs> it would be twenty like um cons- like episodes. Okay, yeah, like full on. Yeah, episodes. no, I get um, that. Okay. So, so we're coming up on that, mm-hmm. and we have some very ambitious plans because who does thought we'd make it this far? Yeah, I mean, thank 20. you guys. Yeah, thank you for keeping for us listening. Going. We passed uh, 400 listeners recently, <gasps> so that was sick. Um, so thank you guys for sticking with us, oh, all you new people. Gosh. Welcome. Oh, I'm goodness. still getting recognized on campus, which is so weird. Wow. Right? Like, when people are like, oh, I keep I my know. I keep my hat low, my sunglasses. Like I was I was in the second floor of the EGGC library. Like I was just um, I was printing something out, and uh, it was one of those areas where like the computers are facing each other, or like mm-hmm. if you're at a computer, you're facing the other person. Mm-hmm. And I'm there. I'm like getting things ready to print, and the guy across me, he's like, Hey, are you? Are you from Manhattan's Boys? I'm See, like, that's that's why I worry yeah. about the fl- way printed flyers with our faces on it. I feel like people would definitely know. I think there's yeah. gonna. I think the more we do this, the more recognition is gonna <laughs> happen. So like, oh boy, it's not gonna stop anytime I, soon. But I was like, signing into the ventures. I thought um, you were signing an autograph. <laughs> so no, I say no, yeah, no autographs. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> no. I was signing into the ventures um, conference today, and so oh, the guy was just like, "You're Nicole, right?" And I was like, "Ooh," and he was just like, "Yeah, I remember you from." Oh my the, god, I'm your biggest fan. From the con- uh, from the Manhattan Boys. You must boys. probably have, like a name tag on. You're Nicole, right? <laughs> Hi, my name is Nicole. <laughs> As I write. In, oh my gosh, please. <laughs> Stop, stop it, please. <laughs> Has I write in Nicole Miranda on a piece of paper. Uh, but yeah, that's She so signs cool. in Manhattan. Listen, <laughs> you can't start signing autographs yet. We got to let that value go up. We got to okay. we got to hold off. Yeah. Let the value go up. Then we start signing autographs. Okay, okay. Then we wait. Let it go back up. <laughs> it's <laughs> a kidding. market, baby. It's a market. Um, and it's just a cycle. But thank thank you guys for the recognition. It's really appreciated. Yes. And it's 20, good, it's good to know that people are really listening and enjoying. First of all, um, yeah. we love you all. We really appreciate when you. When Nicole asked me to start a podcast with her, I was like, uh, I don't know. You know I was ugh. I was yes, let's do it right now. Like as soon as like as soon as she texted me because like to she this, knew to this day me and Nicole regret. Oh my knew, goodness, <laughs> she knew that I was like interested. In we the weren't even close. Thing, so. Like none of us were close with each other. But we had all mentioned the, that the idea that we had all wanted to start a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, we like knew each other from field, field production with Sherwin. And that was like the one class. No, we she had asked me, and then I immediately thought of you. Yeah. Immediately, because one that we had worked together, and two that you had mentioned that. Were you, you the one that sent me the text? Or was it Nicole? I feel like it was Nicole. I brought the idea to her, but I think she texted you first, and yeah. I texted you like a couple yeah, later. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, hey, uh, yeah. you want to go to podcast? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where it started. And you're like, oh, well, Nicole already asked me so, but yeah, we're dude. She's <laughs> like, all right, cool. Literally. Almost 20 episodes you know, in. I was, I was quite drunk when she asked me. I'm just like, dude, I'm going to be in a podcast. Like, tell my brother. <laughs> we're finally going to do it. We're like, we're doing it. We're, we're going to do it, man. Yeah, cheers. Aw. But look, here we are, almost yeah. 20 episodes in. And now I drink time. even more because of this podcast. Shut up, Because he is of age. Um, Again, David is of age, of drinking age in the United States. Because he is 30 States. years old. I am 37, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. But yeah. The Great Depression was a very fun time. <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening, yeah, we, watching, we really and, appreciate you guys. and um, saying hello to us in the school, and yada, yada, yada. But for we love you, 20, love you, love you. And like trying to follow us. Um, <laughs> episode, episode 20. 20. We Let's are pop hoping, some apple cider in here. We are hoping to... Non-alcoholic. We're hoping to have our first live episode da, 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 da. for episode 20. What are we so, going to call it? Look out for that. I, I'm not sure. We're going to have to some, come up with something Choice big. Choice Awards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, but uh, you'll probably be hearing about yeah. that soon. You'll see um, flyers. You'll, you'll, we'll keep you posted. We're, we're going to have to put out a Google form for like question submissions if you're not going to be there in person. But please show up in person. Yes. It should be um, Tuesday. Do we want to give Thursday. out the date? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Nothing, nothing, nothing set in stone. Nothing set in stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's not so give we'll out the date So we'll wait yet, for now. But, um, but it'll be on a Tuesday. We'll keep you on the edge of your seats. It should be on a Tuesday. Yes. Um, look out for posters. Look out for a Google form. Pay attention to our Instagram, Manhattan's Voice underscore pod. Mm-hmm. There we go. Um, finally. I Somebody finally else right. can finally do it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pay attention to that. Uh, we, we're very, very excited to be doing a, a live session. Oh, I know I, know also, I am. Um, are we, are we going to mention the workshop? Yes. That we have in the works? Um, 
Shout out to Carlo. He's Carlo. An empl- he's an employee library. of the NYIT library. The Make NYIT sure to say hello to him library. on the third floor. Um, yes, he works on the third floor. Uh, I think he works more specifically with the inf- innovation labs. Um, <laughs> inflatable. I c- I, I, <laughs> the inflatable <laughs> labs. Um, but uh, yeah, Carlo reached out to us last week mm-hmm. um, about... Technically today, right? Um, <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, the first time he emailed us was last week. Um, I'm excited to get that email. About uh, collabing with the library on a workshop around podcasting. I mean, it, that's that's generally what it is. Better to and, ask, and right? we, um, we are looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, should be very exciting. We hope that you show up. Again, that will be advertised very soon. But, um, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, we will we'll keep just, you posted. We'll just be going through the whole process, um, using the equipment. And, we'd love to see anybody. Um, you want. If you even know of the show, we'd yeah. love to have. If you have a question, if you want to yeah. ask us something, or we'll if be you going to, from we'll be going from start to finish. So yeah. prep stay work, uh, getting equipment, setting up. I mean, everything. We'll go, be yeah, going through everything. Because so. as of recently, the library now holds like podcasting recording, yeah. Carlo, podcast recording equipment. Carlo mentioned. Sorry, Carlo mentioned that. Um, the Innovation Labs has audio equipment now that yeah. you can use for podcasting purposes, which is insane. And we're definitely going to um, do a video, like a, a workshop, isn't it? That's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what we were Glad saying. Glad to keep it up. Um, but yeah, that workshop's just literally going to be from start that. to finish, yeah. um, like figuring out yeah. topics. What happens uh, behind, using the, equipment, behind the curtain? Um, prepping and and. and I mean, we probably won't go into lighting because we won't have to do. <laughs> so we that. plug it in and then that we turn it on. <laughs> but uh, look out for that. That's going to be very yes. interesting. And the uh, the live Q and A. Uh, we really, really hope that you guys show up with yes. questions. And I mean, we can even just like bring people in to have short conversations. Like, yeah. hi, my name is blah blah blah. This is my major. Um, to get like, to know. Like, I listen to the show. Yada yada yada. Things like that. Because we. We really like interacting with you guys. Yeah. Like it's, it's it's cool to, to yeah. have all these to people. all the people who have, like, DM'd us and yeah. sent us messages on Instagram and stuff like that. It's, you know, we, we love it. We, we, we live for that stuff. We, Thank you. we do it for that, you know. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank but, you for uh, us. Yeah, we want to we wanna interact with you guys even more if possible. So the live Q&A is coming up. Look out for that. Um, the workshop in collaboration with the Innovation Labs is coming up. Look out for that. Again, we'll keep you posted. Um, We're pushing for early November. Yes. Hopefully. Wait, no. December? So th- this is November. Early December. December. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm having heat stroke over um, here. I'm yeah, losing I'm really my train hot. of thought. I'm really hot. She says, says short as, her, season, as her hair short. blows in the wind. <laughs> um, but we, we also, we're just really looking for ways to get input from you guys. What do you want to see and or hear from us? Yes. Um, one idea that I had just like off the top of my head was like book reviews. Like that probably wouldn't be a full podcast episode. Maybe it'd just go up on Instagram or. Uh, Are you reading anything? Or right we'd now? integrate it into the podcast. I'm reading I am, um, Bad Feminist. What's it about? Uh, being a bad feminist. Oh, there we go. I am. Uh, I'm listening to an audio book version of. Do you like that? Um, I for certain give it books. A try. Okay, for certain okay, books. That's fair. I'm listening to an audio version, audio book version of the subtle art of not giving a. I will bleep out. Whoa, the, I will, buddy! I will bleep out that f bomb because My it is heart. in the title. I, I saw someone reading it on the train one time. It's in the title. It's an amazing book. Um, it's, I mean, it's you can classify it as a self help title, but it's it's written in a really like, like layman's like kind they, of. They like, just don't give an f, bro. Like. I think what's the the author's name is Mark Ronson, I believe. Um, like he, like me, Mark Ronson. I think so. Like the produ- that's a producer, isn't it? I have no idea. I, sounds good. I don't know if it's the same guy. What sounds um, good? Reading a book. But uh, thanks for the input, he, cool. <laughs> he really he like, I don't know. Uh, he might have done the audiobook version as well, but he really writes um, in a really straightforward way. He writes um, good. He write he writes good. <laughs> he writes good. Good word on page. Um, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's a producer. He he does like Bruno. He's had a lot of hits. He does it like movies. No, music producer. Oh, he's got okay. made a lot. He made Uptown Funk. Uptown oh, I didn't know if it was the same person. It. I hope it is. Bruno Maybe. Mars. I have no idea. No, the other Uptown Funk. <laughs> Uptown um, Funk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Mark Maybe Ronson, not. the okay. subtle art of not giving a. I will again. Goodness gracious! That. This is a family it's, podcast. It's Wes? in the title. It's this is in the a family title. Podcast. It's in the title. I had to say it. 
Um, but yeah, you don't I'm, have to I'm it working out on then. that. I have a no. Book, I'm gonna bleep it. I have a book in my backpack that I've been meaning to start on the train, but I've been listening to too many podcasts on the train, so I don't really read it. Oh, what you kind know of, what? Wait, I what kind of podcasts you listen? To? I actually listen to a Twilight Zone podcast that I really enjoy. It's mm. called a Twilight Pwn. It's pretty good. I like it. That's interesting. Like a, in the morning, a lighthearted take on Twilight Zone episodes, and they go into detail and like trivia and that yada, yada, cool. yada. Yeah, I love the Twilight Zone. I've seen the show like four times. I love it. In the in the mornings, I watch TED Talk. I mean, I listen to TED Talks. As, Actually, I feel like I'm, I, maybe we can start talking about TED Talks. I watch a lot of TED Talks. Read. The one uh, for Nardwar was really I really liked his. It was really really good. From who? Nardwar. He's a uh, music reporter. He's he interviewed like everybody. Like, but people like really really love interviewing with him because like he mm. knows like really really like stuff that a know, lot of people really don't know. Yeah. Like mm. he gives them things from like their childhood that like they love like that. He really shouldn't know, but yeah, the whole thing was pretty much about he like how he did his research. Yes, yeah, he does his research. That's the thing he was saying in his TED talk. Like, people are always amazed on how he knows all this stuff, but like he literally just calls like people from his their neighborhood or stuff like that, you know, just then like find out stuff. And people, he's like, he, the main thing about his TED talk was just to just ask. There's nothing to lose if you just ask. Like he literally got interviews with like Kurt Cobain and people like that just mm. just from asking. Like, hey, can I interview you? Sounds good. Crazy. You should watch that. So, yeah, I'll send that we'll, link to you later. We'll start. He's we'll start integrating some kind of review into the podcast. I feel like Nardwar, cool. please come on the show. Um, maybe book reviews. Maybe talking about other podcasts that we like. Um, we should shout out a podcast once a week. I I'm going to shout out a podcast now. Ooh, do, um, it. do it. Do it. Do it. So the Manhattan recently, <laughs> recently I've. I didn't like them at first, but story. You were saying the voice. Yeah, I was I was about to say, story, wow. story podcasts are really interesting. Um, they're like they're like short stories. Um, like they're not audiobooks, but they're like like the whole podcast is a story, and like each episode is kind of like a chapter, mm. and they're like they're like voice acted. Mm. Like um, by actors, or the, I mean, some of them are voice actors, and um, sounds good. Like there's actual sound design that goes oh, with wow. the story. Um, if you haven't heard of it already, uh, it's called The Edge of Sleep. Mm. The Edge it's, of Sleep. It's scary. It's, it's kind of like a thriller no, story, uh, but it's it's so well done. Like the voice acting is really good. The sound design is amazing. Like I've literally, I was listening to an episode this morning and I got chills. What's like sitting called? at my desk, like listening to the episode. Might, the Edge of Sleep is sleep. what it's called. Um, like that Stevie Nicks song. Except, no. Um, but uh, I would I would recommend that if you're into story podcasts, if you're into maybe audio books, it's a very similar experience. You have um, any podcasts you listen to? Dear My Art fantastic. Producer is... Um, dear My Art dear Producer? Dear My Art Producer? Dear Art... No, it's Dear... No, it's either Dear... All right. What is it called? Hold on, sorry. Uh, no, that's all good. So yeah, check out Twilight Pwn, The Edge of Sleep. The Edge of Sleep. And apparently if, My Art um, Producer, My Art Teacher. If you've ever heard of Markiplier, he's a voice actor. Hello, my name is Markiplier. Yes, he, he is a voice actor in The Edge of Sleep. And really, he does a really, really good job. Good for him. It's just Dear Art Producer. Dear Art. Pro- I don't know what why I said about? Dear My. It's like it's the, Dear Art Producer. Yeah, Dear okay. Art Producer. So this one um, person interviews like a bunch of art producers, like how they got started, like That's in the cool. business, in the industry, mm. and I kind of, it's like kind of like a little inspiration of like me trying to get to where I want in life. I'm actually going to an event that um, this. Um, podcast person is going to well like created um and that's like i think it is next week on wednesday and i'm going with my aunt are you gonna meet them yeah that's sick like because it's just like it's like the you know like the my aunt's and like she's a producer and like she knows like a lot of she's the one that told me about your job please (laughs) i mean i have a job now but um not you me oh okay i mean literally i my aunt knows people in the industry who are always looking for interns and stuff like that so it's just like interesting <laughs> i'm 25 i'm starving <laughs> <Your> job please <laughs> literally do you want absolutely like, okay. what yes uh, right. hook me up with one too no no, no. Yeah. me first me first me first so I'm, I'm gonna obviously go to i go to these events sometimes with my aunts and like with my aunt and um then only like, the person i know says aunt instead of aunt really so I'm gonna like you know obviously promote you guys then, um, and right. if anybody's kind of ever yeah. you know because in in our industry it it, it pays yeah, to know people who you yeah, know exactly. so, I was yeah. literally just about to say so now like since I have my aunt if I have to bribe her I will yeah uh, money yeah. talks here she, no she I listens like to the podcast all the time three dollars. <laughs> Do you, I love um, coming home. Do you take Vans gift cards? <laughs> <laughs> Van shoes. I mean, I'll take it. And then I watch 
not only do your art producer some oh, we're listening to all of our there podcasts was, <laughs> there was this one podcast. wait 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 save them let's keep it one a week we'll do a more we'll do a more thorough review next week okay. I feel like we all um, have very different tastes in podcasts like yeah, I go for do. like a funny like you know movie can, or entertainment podcast we can start you discussing go for, like, yeah, yeah we should yeah we yeah. can start just generally yeah. discussing like the content that we absorb we can start talking more about Markiplier and Mark Ronson alright well that was good yeah I think that was a pretty good good podcast for this week I think that's uh, the moral of this week's episode was um, flannel. Not flannel. a good idea in here. Yeah. Holy moly. Let's, let's Jeez not. Louise. <laughs> yeah. not. Flannel fan. No more, Canceled. No more Canceled, flannel. dude. Holy moly. <laughs> Wool. I feel like I'm being hugged by a Wookiee right now. Literally. All right, now go in front of Holy that. moly. Just... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounded great. Your, Woo! Your armpit straight up into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. You can hear uh, the sweat on my body. <laughs> thank you guys for listening to us sweat. Yes. And thank you if you're watching. You can see us in yeah. full 4K sweating on my you're, body. If you're viewing, thank you very much. Uh, this is definitely a sight to see. So thank you for my sweaty that. face. You can probably check. You can probably see a reflection <laughs> in my shiny face right now. Um, Meanwhile, we got her over here, probably catching a wind chill. <laughs> But anyway, thanks guys for stopping by. Yeah, um, we really appreciate it. We are Manhattan's voice. We love you. My name is David Gustavo Contreras. My name's Nicole Miranda. My name's Julian West. And we will catch you next time. Stay in tune to our yes. Instagram. Uh, look out for posters on campus. They will be showing up. So just stay prepared. And uh, keep on rocking in the free world. Oui. Yes, indeed. Alrighty, folks. Bye, guys. Peace. See you next week.